Hello everyone, this is Blue Funner Fan Racing, and this is the INRL Insomniac Elite Series. Today, we are at Watkins Glen International Raceway for the second row course of the season, but as you'll notice, the skies are dark. Well, well, it's raining right now. Yes, you heard right. We're doing a rain race out here at Watkins Glen. We got rain tires on the cars, and this is going to be a very interesting race, that's for sure. But what's even more interesting is the fact that Brandon Wood is, is, is starting on the pole in the, nine, in the 99. That awesome paint scheme, that awesome paint scheme adver advertising the upcoming Ratchet and Clank movie. Me, so excited for that. Great to see Brandon Wood giving that paint, that new paint scheme, some publicity. So, next to him, we have the points leader Ezekiel Proctor, who needs to get something going in order to help him hold on to his point lead. Row number two, DJ Curtis and PJ Williams. Row number three has Seth Cole and Connor Atwood. Seth, this is Seth Cole's home race, I believe. Row number four is PG London and James Shelley. And then around your top ten is Brandon McGorth and Jeffrey Finguy. And here's the rest of your lineup. Without further ado, let's get those engines fired up. Go out there and have a good time today. We'll make it happen in the end, my friend. Take some stuff here. Ready to rock and roll. Good luck to you guys on pit road down there today. Brandon Wood and that awesome looking 99 car is going to be leading us down to the green here. I, nobody expected them to run well here. It's been raining all week. The qualifying was in the rain actually. Uh, this entire weekend was in the rain and Brandon Wood has been the, one of the fastest all week. So big surprise there. He really trying to improve his reputation. Pace car is in. As we're getting ready to go 14 laps out here. What's gonna happen in the rain? It's time to find out as we're green. We're walk we're rocking at the glen. And as you can see the car get off to a slow start. They're gonna be shifting and sliding coming into this first corner. They're gonna be shifting around in this first corner here. Brandon Wood trying to get, get the upper hand. And he's got it! You can see the field go flying by. Brandon Wood just leads the field down to the bus stop here. This might be trouble. This might be a trouble spot. It has been from practice, but I'm not sure what's going to happen in the race. Alright. Oh, we've seen cars slide up real high here. Yeah, there you go. You see Proctor. He's really sliding. The hometown hero Seth Cole moves in the third. But Proctor's pretty hungry. I don't think he's going to let Seth Cole beat him that easily. Yes, a little bit of contact there. Proctor goes back underneath the 11. Can he complete the pass? Oh, Cole runs off a little and Proctor completes the pass. Oh, PG Williams almost hit the wall as Brandon Roy will lead the first lap. Back in the first corner, DJ Curtis right behind the 99. Brandon Wood, I believe he's 31st in points. He really struggled this season. He would love nothing more than to run real well here. He would love nothing more than a win out here at the Glen. In the rain, nonetheless. Is there been any trouble in the back? Oh, yes, there has. There, oh, there's a big stack of cars here. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, Brandon Woods leading right now. 
two of the FBR cards fighting for a spot there. Brandon McGuart looks to try and pass Ezekiel Proctor. And Noah Hart is there as well. Hart is, Noah Hart is up to third in points. He's really been moving up the past few weeks. Oh, uh, Solar Fox getting loose back there. Ah, uh, can McGuart make the move? I think he can. Oh, Proctor! He nicked that wall off the final corner. And Noah Hart goes by as well, and Duncan's looking on the 93 now. Proctor not having a good start to this, to this race. Oh, there's Alan Cavanero, the rookie. Again, being very impressive right now. Oh, wait, there's some damage on that car. Oh. He's in 14th place, but there is some damage on that car. Oh, and it's the battle for a final point spot between Reese Black and Sean Angel. And Sean Angel gets the spot. But we're going to go back and take a look at what happened there. No cautions on the road courses, but we're going to take a look at what happened. Okay. Uh, I don't know who in the world thought this was a good idea. But we're going four wide at Watkins Glen. Look. Look at him. Look at... Where's the camera view? There it is. They tried. There it is. They tried to go four wide. Well, Jeffrey Finguy, James Shelley, and Charles Sanford are going to pay the price as they all get together. Shelley hits the wall pretty hard, and some drugs get collected. Nick Pericles, uh, Kyle Sinoski. There's Alan Cavanero. Uh, Sinoski, a piece of dada. RJ Mansion was flying in there. Yeah, a lot of cars actually managed to slow down time. Not a lot of damage there, but a lot of drugs is going to get held up and out of contention. Let's get back to live. Back to live here, Brandon Wood leading over DJ Curtis. And James Shelley is the pit lane there. Oh, Chris Igor, he's back in 32nd place. Oh boy, he has had he's been really struggling the past few weeks. And doesn't it looks like he's gonna be having yet another bad week, but I don't know, it's not over until it's over. Oh, Silver Fox has gone off from 10! And Proctor from seventh. Those two who just crashed. Proctor's a points leader. We gotta enjoy. That's just kind of a big thing. We gotta take a look at that right now. They got a little, they got a little, they got a little touchy there, and it didn't end well for them. They both spun off, and now they're out of contention to win this race. Proctor, the points leader, yet a more trouble for him. Oh, DJ Curtis looking on Brandon Wood for the lead. As we're approaching the first, we're, we're approaching the first round of the pit stop. But it looks like DJ Curtis will take the lead. You know, PT London moves in the third. Back in the bus stop, Brandon Wood is going to do anything in his power to get that point, get that top spot back. Oh, but he, oh, but he slid up, he slid up a little. He's trying to find some way to catch up and pass that 88, but Curtis looking pretty strong right now. Curtis has not had the best season. Oh. Oh, Wood's looking. He's looking. But he couldn't get anything going there. He tried something, though. He's, he's still tr Yeah, he's definitely trying. Oh, but Peachy London's looking on him now. As we're on let number five now. This, this is really the point where we're starting to pit stop. Brandon Wood starting to fall back a little. Brandon McGuirt is looking, he's starting to move up. Along, and he's brought in teammate Noah Hart. 
Good to see the Fuel Brothers still running strong after Proctor's little mishap. And the Quartz now gone underneath the 99. Brandon Wood really starting to lose some positions in that 99 car. I wonder if something's wrong. He is... The handling must... The handling must have gone sour on that... I think the handling's gone south on that 99. Because he's losing spots left and right. Uh, I believe he just dropped the sixth place. I, I'd say it's good for him. It's, I'd say it's good for him that pit stops are coming up. Because it looks like he needs... To. God knows it looks like he needs him. Whoa! Yeah, that, yeah, the handling's definitely gone sour on that 99. And yeah, he's coming into the pit lane. Wait, it looks like Noah Hart's staying out. Whoa! Don't want to go side by side in the pit lane here in this one. Whoa! Floyd almost forced Steph Cole to pit in the pit wall there. Well, there's Noah Hart, he's staying out. Anybody else? Proctor. The Silver Fox and Proctor have come off the pit lane. Oh, uh, you gotta be careful around that tire wall off there. Who's looking really staying out? Wait, who's that? Oh, that's Maxwell Tan. I think somebody else is staying out. Let's take a part. That's it. Not many drivers trying to stay out here. Something tells me that something tells me that they're going to regret that. Big lack of grip in these car in these race cars. Yeah, that tire wall, you have to be really careful around it. You have to be real careful around a tire wall on the pit lane. And oh Felix Peter hit the tire wall! Oh, that's a tough break for Theodore, but... Oh, she was having a great run, but she just hit the tire wall off the pit lane. And that will be the end of the race for... That's a real danger zone. The tire, that tire wall off the pit lane. And that's going to hold up a lot of the drivers here. And wait, is somebody having a problem? And Chris Igor just gained some spots there. As these guys just hit the pit lane, leader of the third to get out and now hit the pit lane. Who came out the pit lane first? There's Carl Sander, last week's winner. He's he's had a lucky stellar race. Don't know where he's gonna end up though. Oh man, Brandon Wood, he's really dropped. But it looks like Seth Cole, the hometown hero, on the fastest pit stop. And they're in hard to come up the pit lane. And it looks like Seth Cole take the lead. And with Pichu London taking a second, Noah Hart will slot in the third here. Fourth is DJ Curtis, fifth Brandon McGuart, sixth Connor Atwood, seventh William Duncan, eighth Brandon Wood. Man, he's really dropped. Ninth is Ian Zeta, and Drew Austin is tenth. Oh, Maxwell Chan hit the tire wall. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'll have to say, that, that tire wall is a real problem. I'm probably going to get a different version of Watkins Glen for next season. Preferably a version that doesn't have that tire wall off the pit lane. Yeah, I could definitely use some help with that. It's like, it's like Chris Walker at the last point. Sean Angel trying to pass him. Sean Angel has not had much going lately. If he has a good run, he gets a bad run right after that. So, Sean Angel kind of losing points lately. 
And wait, no, wait. That can work. Oh, I should take a part on there too. Oh, DJ Curtis just passed the 11. And then here comes Brandon McGuirt. He's passing the 11 now. Oh wait, PJ London's taking the lead actually. And, oh, London, John, London, I, I didn't even notice, but London, London, I didn't even notice London take the lead, but he is gone. He's got a pretty big lead there. Man, that's a fast looking car. Oh, he's actually got the fastest lap of the race. Could he be poised to give Tonga Racing here their first one of the season? Well, only time will tell, but we're gonna see here. As Brandon McGuirt looking on the 88, I don't think he's gonna be able to get to pull off that move. Unless he can get a really good run, nope. That full fighting of Noah Hart there. Hart trying to make a move, didn't work. Seth Cole, Seth Cole though, the hometown hero, doing a good job in the 11. Easy point, that's for sure. Oh, oh, here comes Hart, here comes Hart. Coming back. He's, Noah Hart's done way better than his championship rival today. Proctor, Proctor's in 32nd place. And uh, Cosmic Nova is in 26. Neither of his championship rivals are running in the point. Oh, more pit stops. Need more pit, need more tire wall carnage. Oh, William Duncan and Connor Atwood. William Duncan trying to push Connor Atwood past the 11. Not, not sure how that's going to work out. Oh, Seth Cole getting really loose. And they both got the spot. Oh wow! Curtis closed the gap on London. Man, DJ Curtis is one of the fastest cars out there. As we're getting ready for our, for our final round of pit stops. Approaching that second round. Some drivers may come in right now, but it's not going to but most of the field's gonna be in on lap 10. Oh god, Tirewall Madness. And it's not pretty much Fox. He really not had a good day up. Oh, oh, I saw that one coming. He hit the tire wall. Some drivers really can't get a grip coming off the coming off the pit lane and they slip and hit the tire wall. Up, oh, Seth Cole's come in. More drivers stayed out this time, though. London, McGort, Curtis, Hart, Atwood, Duncan, Wood, Hudson, Washer. Like, a lot of the, a lot of front-running drivers stayed out. Look at London, a big lead yet again. Curtis actually has been passed by Brandon McGuirt. McGuirt's had a pretty solid season. But this is, but this is, a, this is a exceptionally good run for McGuirt. As he comes down pit road now and oh, Noah Hart continues to stay out. Oh, don't hit the wall. Call there for Hart. But looks like Noah Hart's going to continue to stay out. And a really nice looking 47. Noah Hart seems to be pretty good on the road course this season. I mean, he did win at South Dakota. That was a, you know, an awesome finish. His teammate Proctor. Proctor has not had a good day. Hart comes on PJ Williams. No problem there. 
Just gotta figure out when John Johnson is coming, though. I mean, these cars do not grip the road well. Now, where is him? Oh, Johnson is out of the race. He must have hit the tire wall, because, I mean, he's John Johnson. Yeah, I should have figured, I mean, if he if he was still on the race track, I think we would have encountered him by now. Oh, Connor Breeze has had some mechanical trouble. And Sanford and James and James Shelley have also dropped out of the race. Hart comes down pit road. I wonder if Jacob Hart stayed out. Well, there's London. He'd come off pit lane first. McGuart second, Curtis third, Duncan fourth, and Atwood in fifth. Seth Cole did not have a good pit stop. Oh, Brendan Wood actually a pretty decent one, and Connors McNova had a good stop. Any tire wall, any tire wall madness? Not much on this camera here. There's hard. Hopefully you do not hit that tire wall. And he's fine. Alright, so let's get back to the action here. Three laps to go. And I think wait, Hart! Hart is out ahead of Pichu London! I think Noah Hart is the leader! Wow, wonderful pit stop by that 47 team. It looks like he's in the lead. And by a pretty big margin, too. Could he be set to get his second win of the season? If he if he does, that'll be the fourth win for Fuel Brothers Racing, I believe. And that'll be interesting because he won because I mean, after all, he won back in South Dakota, which is two weeks ago. Just two rounds ago, so. That would, so, I think Hart is kind of proving people that he is one of the top drivers in this series. He is one of the top drivers in racing today as Curtis is going to try and fight with McGuirt for that fourth spot. I mean, third. Oh no, no, fourth. And he couldn't get it. Alright, let's, let's get a rundown of our running order. Oh, Cosmic Nova hit the tire wall! So to RJ Manson, oh, Chris Igor as well. A lot of cars ended up hitting that tire wall, actually. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. I think something else might have happened. We're going to take a look here. But here's a rundown of your running order. Noah Hart is in first. Second is Peachy London. Third is DJ Curtis. Fourth is Brandon McGuart. Fifth, William Duncan. Sixth, Seth Cole. Seventh, Brandon Wood. Eighth is a long ways back to Nathan Hudson. And ninth is... Connor Atwood, and 10th is Reese Black. Meanwhile, so Noah Hart going to try and hold on here, but P2 London is closing. Try and get the try and get Togger Racing its first win of the season. I don't think S3 Motorsports has won either. In fact, S3 Motorsports has really struggled this season so thus far. But Curtis, he's showing a lot of speed. He just doesn't have the luck. As he's pretty, as he's a little far down the points. He's had the speed though. As Hart continues, is looking in that re in his rear view. He's getting nervous. As the 14 is closing in, is closing in on him. What's he going to do? What? Like, what is he going to do in order to hold the lead? We're going to find out. However, as off the final corner, white flag is in the air. Heading in the first corner. Hart really trying his best to hold on here, but that 14 is pretty fast. Yeah, he was eight, eight tenths of a second quicker last time. But I'm not sure if London will have enough time. I think I'll take a mistake from Hart.
in the bus stop for the final time. Something could happen here, but I don't know. Heart's been pretty smooth. Oh, yes. Smooth through with the bus stop. I think he's got it at this point. Heading in the final two corners. He's got it. London couldn't close the gap. And here we go. As we're gonna make as we're gonna make history here off the final corner, Noah Hart! He's gonna get the his second career win and the fourth for Fuel Brothers Racing. And Hart wins here at Watkins Glen. Wonderful pit stop for the 47 team. And put them in victory lane. Great run for Noah Hart. Second is P2 London. Third is DJ Curtis. Fourth is Brandon McGuirt. Fifth is William Duncan. Sixth, Seth Cole. Good job for him in his home track. Seventh, Brandon Wood. He dropped back a little, but I'd say he improved his reputation with how he handled himself in the rain. Eighth is going to be Nathan Hudson. Ninth, Connor Atwood. And Chris Washer rounds out the top ten. Very, very interesting race here at the Glen. Make, made history as it was the first ever race on my channel to be a be in the rain. Congratulations to Noah Hart. Here comes the results and standings. You've been watching a production of the INRL, Racing Uncontained. See you next time.